what's going on YouTube. I got another video for you there today. This one's gonna be for the anniversary of Skyrim. Foolish, uh, how to get this even the you best folks know, in the game. So you can get this either by purchasing the anniversary edition, which is like Creation Club content, or by just buying the Creation Club content. You are a welcome I guest. serve Jarl Balthier as steward. Here. Anything else you need for me? Of course. It's, it's all in this note. Um, watch over your... Look at the quest in the shadows. Um, all of the anniversary edition contents, they don't have voice dialogue. A lot of them are just like, they give you a note, essentially, right? um, for the new quests. Um, so you want to read the stage note, and you're essentially just going to do the quest. I'm going to basically go through the quest with you um, to kind of show you how it is. It's a super easy quest. It's pretty difficult near end. Uh, there's an enemy you have to fight at the very tail end of the quest who is the person who actually has the bow. Um, he's very difficult to kill. Um, the bow is a very powerful bow. Um, and currently I'm only level 5. You can get the quest at level 22. It's extremely useful, especially if you're a stealth build. I'll show you kind of the fun. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Basically, there's an assassination plot against the guard. You're taking her ledger to basically see anybody who has purchased poisons. So you can investigate the Hollow Dead with the staples. Very well, few have done this before. Don't even bother going to the Hollow Dead. There's really nothing there. You're going to end up talking to the guy, and he tells you he just purchased poisons to basically um, kill some schemers that are in his basement. Can if you want, but for the sake of the quest. Um, where you actually need to go is the stables. Okay, the stables. There's going to be a dead body. Grab his. Uh, read the stable hands note. made of spawn for the sake of the actual quest though. No, I guess not. Um, there's some free ebony arrows as well. Uh, the guy that you're actually going to be talking to, he drops free ebony arrows as well. Super useful. And then boom, you immediately get the prompt to go find the assassin. He is going to have your bow of shadows. So we're on the way back here. A huge recommendation when fighting him. Um, you're going to want to get the drop on him because if he starts to attack you, he does a crazy amount of damage. Um, his, his damage per second is insane. As well as he has a that he has the bow equipped. So I recommend immediately going sneak uh, sneak mode. Yeah. 
I'm sure I'm not going to talk about. damage is 26 um since it's not technically enchanted you can improve it at any smithing level um it has that like permanent enchantment that doesn't need to be recharged but you draw the bow 20 percent faster indefinitely and every time that you draw the bow um you become invisible so as soon as you pull the bow out essentially you become immediately invisible um, super overpowered if you're a stealth character um, obviously once you shoot an arrow you become not invisible anymore super good bow um, plus for doing the quest free I serve you as well excellent that is a great service here is your reward because they don't they don't do leveled gold like most of the quests in Skyrim they, it's like usually I think it's just a flat rate uh, but just in comparison you know being level 5 typically you have access to a hunting bow the hunting bow only does 10 damage the bow of shadows does 26 uh, like I'm a super low level and I have a bow that's basically broken already we found this guy here. I'll go ahead and make more. Uh, show more content that they added in the Anniversary Edition. I highly recommend getting the Anniversary Edition if you don't already have it. Um, it's like a $10 to $15 upgrade if you already own Special Edition. Um, I know with mods out and everything, you know, it's beneficial to do that, but I personally like the Anniversary Edition. Um, but if you found this guy helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more Skyrim content as well as Oblivion and Fallout content. Possibly even some D versus content. What the hell is he doing? Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.